At this time, we'll go to 7.0, which are reports and action items from executive session. Do I hear a motion regarding uh, Superintendent Little's evaluation for the 2019-2020 school year and an extension of his employment contract? Start over. After reviewing the information Dr. Little provided to the board regarding the implementation and progress of the district's strategic plan and considering the board members' review of his performance, I make a motion that Dr. Little receive an overall outstanding evaluation for the 2019-2020 school year. I further move that as a result of Dr. Little's outstanding evaluation, Dr. Little's employment contract with the district be amended to extend Dr. Little's contract term for an additional year until June 30, 2026. Okay, we have a motion on the floor from Mr. Oswald. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. And let's open it up for discussion and then we'll vote on that. And um, if you don't mind, board, I'd like to start. Um, tonight, we conducted uh, Dr. Little's annual evaluation. Um, we have completed a press release which uh, uh, Ms. Hill will put on the website and out on our different, um, all the different places we put information these days, we have so many, so that you can read what the board, uh, the evaluation, what we've determined for Dr. Little. Um, as just, I just wanted to go over some key facts, just so you'll know. Currently, the district is serving 27,363 students. We have 3,900 employees, which those employees report to Dr. Little. He supervises 31 schools, which includes 17 elementary schools, eight middle schools, five high schools, and one techn technology center. And we also have an alternative education service program designed to help students at risk of expulsion. Dr. Little on September 15th, 2020, for those of you who like to join us for our meetings, he conducted a detailed review of the strategic plan, how he is comparing against those plans. He examined the district's academic achievements, and he also discussed lessons learned during our COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic. He talked about the portfolio project and the goals for 2020-2021. Tonight, we uh, began talking about just some of the key factors that have influenced this um, evaluation. And um, as you just heard, we haven't voted yet, but uh, the board is recommending that we give Dr. Little an outstanding evaluation. I uh, just wanted to point out a few key things. This year, students enrolled in dual credit courses, that is regular high school courses and college courses, have grown from 357 students to 526 students. The number of dual enrollment courses taken has risen from 985 to 1,542 courses. This is just phenomenal for a program that's fairly new, and I, it really speaks to how our students and our parents are accepting it and enrolling in it. Uh, this year we had a, he continued to maintain the student to teacher ratios. Even with the pandemic, this was a hard year to do an evaluation because as everyone knows in March, we left our buildings and we went to a virtual environment. So some of this is a little bit difficult because this has been a hard year. Um, we, Dr. Little committed to providing more school resource officers across the district and he committed to adding a mental health counselor and mental health training at every school. He worked on reducing fees for our families. He continued to focus on Project Hope, which is the mental health wellness program he's initiated along with the district. He also worked on the executive leadership program training and recruitment program, which helps us with the hiring of teachers and administrators, which has become an even more critical uh, even more critical because of the shortages, not only in South Carolina, but across the nation. And I believe Dr. Little shared with us that you have now uh, filled 20 uh, principal positions since you've been with us for five years, correct? So he has added, he has, he himself has selected 20 of our principals. This year they created the College Center, which is now housed at Gilbert High School. 
Uh, that is something we're very excited about because we're partnering, partnering with the University of South Carolina Sumter and other local businesses and community groups. We're just now getting that off the ground and that is one of our most exciting initiatives. Uh, we're continuing to work on our historically underrepresented groups by uh, having them enrolled in more rigorous coursework. He has continued to have teachers learn more about advocating and speaking up. And we held our second pizza and policy night, which focused on advocacy with our legislators and other key community leaders. This is a big one. We opened Centerville Elementary. It came out of the ground, it has been built, and we now have students there. We have also remodeled and rebranded Gilbert Elementary. And as we speak, Pillion Middle is nearing completion and Lexington Middle School has come out of the ground. He's also committed to working on the bond referendum to add classroom wings at Oak Grove Elementary and White Knoll High. And they're beginning the construction on the new performing arts centers at Gilbert High and White Knoll High, which we know for a fact that those families in the Gilbert and White Knoll High communities are so excited about getting their own performing arts center. He's also created meaningful partnerships across the Midlands. Uh, he has a, a very special partnership with Nephron. They have been instrumental in how we've handled the, uh, the pandemic. Uh, the, he has a partnership with USC Palmetto College, the Chamber of Commerce, this year he's really focused on Lexington County Council and he is really working hard with other various private and public sector business and governmental agencies to showcase what we can do in our schools and also to learn from them of what, about what they need for our students, how our students need to be prepared to hopefully join their workforces. He's also added lab sites and model classrooms. And one of the biggest things he's done this year is redesigning the middle school day to capture more time for instruction in our core courses for our middle school students. Something that was really big that kind of got lost with our COVID-19, but it's huge, is Lake Murray Elementary was named as a 2019 National Blue Ribbon School. That is the highest honor a school can achieve. And we are so proud of Lake Murray and the work they've done to accomplish that. Now we're gonna turn over, we're gonna flip the switch and we're gonna talk about COVID. We're gonna talk about the pandemic. Dr. Little was given extremely short notice as we all know, and we worked successfully to create the, uh, to work with our kids, to go move them to a virtual environment. We also worked to have our graduations. We had five successful graduations at our high schools at a time when I think most of us were hardly leaving our homes and we were able to have all of our students walk and receive their diplomas. Then in the spirit of the fall, we have now started our uh, moving back into our buildings. Um, Dr. Little and his team created Lula, which is an online learning academy. I'll be honest, that was not one of our initiatives. And his, he and his team have created an online learning academy. And how many students are participating in that, Dr. Little? 7,000? A little over 7,500. A little over 7,500 students are now participating in something that a year ago we had no plan to do. So that's just, and, and I think most of the parents are very happy. <coughs> we are now, in the, uh, we're now into reopening our buildings and we're doing our best to get these schools back open. Our goal as a board and as with Dr. Little is to get our students back to five day face to face in a safe and healthy manner because we value every student and we value every teacher and we value every staff member. We're working on the technology and software. Dr. Little's been working on that. And just the fact that Dr. Little's uh, food service program pr pr provided 819,000 meals from March 18th to August 14th to feed our students during the pandemic. We just can't say enough about the job he's done. He's, uh, he's just been the right person at the right time with the right job. It's just been a difficult year. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you it's been perfect, <coughs> but I can tell you that Dr. Little and his team, his teachers, his staff are working hard to do the best that they can. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to the board 
and see if anyone else has to make any wants to make any comments before we vote. Anyone else? Okay. So at this time, we have a motion on the floor from Mr. Oswald. We have a second from uh, Dr. Powers. The motion is regarding, uh, go ahead and reread that one more time, Mr. Oswald, just so we all remember what we're voting on and we'll take a vote. After reviewing the information that the Lord provided to the board regarding the implementation and progress of the district's strategic plan and considering the board members review of his performance, I make a motion that Dr. Lowell receive an overall outstanding evaluation for the 2019-2020 school year. Thank you, Mr. Oswald. You want me to read the rest of it? Oh, yeah. I further move that as a result of Dr. Little's outstanding evaluation, Dr. Little's employment contract with the district be amended to extend Dr. Little's contract term for an additional year until June 30, 2026. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Oswald. What we'll do, we'll take a vote, and then if, if you don't mind, we'd like to ask Dr. Little to make a few comments. So all in favor of the motion as presented, please raise your right hand. Okay. Is there anyone opposed? Okay. So we have six to one with Ms. Uh, Ms. Garrett's opposed. And uh, Dr. Little, uh, go ahead and give us your thoughts. Well, first of all, do I need the microphone on as well? Just a we just have the zoom you don't need the microphone well first of all thank you so much board uh for your kind words and for all of your support and encouragement especially during these challenging times uh, this past year certainly has been one of the most difficult i have ever encountered in my career and yet i have never been more proud of the work that has been accomplished across the district regardless of title or job responsibilities People have stepped up to serve and do what is in the best interest of children and families throughout our community. I'm incredibly thankful for each and every one of them, for they are the embodiment of the Lakes and One family. I'm thankful for you, and I'm thankful that I get to serve this amazing community and work with such fantastic people. And I would be remiss if I didn't say, you know, there, there's a lot on uh, the accomplishments that have happened this year that certainly uh, my name is attached to. And, and I have, um, and you talked about all the different things that have been accomplished, but I will tell you, we have an amazing, amazing team in Lexington One. Uh, truly, truly, truly some of the most fantastic and incredible people you will ever meet. And they work diligently and they go above and beyond for their children, for the children in this community each and every day. And I'm so thankful to be a teammate with them I look forward to even more opportunities for us to empower each child to design the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Little. Uh, so, uh, board, that is concludes the meeting. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Madam Chair, a motion to adjourn. Okay, thank you, Mr. Anderson. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, thank you, Mr. Oswald. All in favor, please stand up and thank you very much, board, for all the time you spent tonight.